Mantis shrimp have lots of striking characteristics. They have big, rainbow-colored bodies, and they punch so strong it can break glass. But one of their more discreet superpowers is the ability to see polarized light. This might not seem like a huge deal, except that cancer cells interact with polarized light in a unique way. So researchers are developing cameras that can see like mantis shrimp see, and detect very early stages of cancer. Compared to humans, mantis shrimp have incredibly advanced eyesight that allows them to very accurately scan for prey or potential threats. To start, they have compound eyes, similar to those of a fly. Each eye is divided into three sections that the shrimp can move independently. And while humans have three different color receptors, mantis shrimp have 16. Plus, they have six receptors capable of picking up different kinds of polarized light. Now, most light sources we encounter, like the sun and light bulbs, emit unpolarized light. Unpolarized light is messy. It's made of multiple waves that vibrate in multiple directions, technically planes, at the same time. But there are a few different ways for light to become polarized, where light waves are vibrating only in one plane, reflecting off surfaces, for example, or passing through something like polarized sunglasses. And mantis shrimp eyes can detect polarized light. Researchers believe mantis shrimp evolved this ability for hunting. When light gets reflected off an animal, like a fish with shiny scales, some of it becomes polarized. So thanks to their unique eyesight, mantis shrimp can accurately spot their unsuspecting prey underwater. Mantis shrimp can even perceive circular polarized light, a hard-to-see light wave that rotates its plane of polarization in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Mantis shrimp use circular polarized light to communicate within their species. Their bodies have reflective surfaces capable of producing this kind of light, which they flash like a secret message. Now, human eyes can detect some polarized light, but not nearly to the same extent as mantis shrimp, and we can't distinguish circular polarized light at all. That's partly because mantis shrimp eyes have more receptors. Plus, all of the shrimp's photosensitive bits are stacked on top of each other, and their polarization receptors are oriented in different directions. This makes it possible for the shrimp to intercept light waves coming from multiple directions at the same time, and helps them perceive changes in polarization. Researchers believe these shrimp can even rotate the different sections of their eyes to maximize their detection of polarized light. Similar to a person, like, putting on polarized sunglasses to filter a glare. Polarized sunglasses can block light waves vibrating in one direction, while allowing light waves vibrating in another direction to pass through. So, where does cancer diagnosis fit into this already really remarkable story? Could we put a mantis shrimp on someone with cancer and have it punch them in the tumor? No. N as cool as that would be. But in their 2017 paper in the journal Optica, researchers from the University of Illinois say they were inspired by the mantis shrimp's sophisticated eyesight to develop a camera capable of detecting cancer cells very early in their development. In particular, they drew inspiration from the shrimp's stacked photoreceptors. In their camera, the researchers stacked multiple silicon photodiodes on top of each other. They combined this with a carefully arranged pattern of metallic nanowires to act as polarization filters. This allows the camera to see in color and detect polarization polarized light coming from different directions, much like the mantis shrimp. And that's key to identifying cancer in its early stages, because when researchers aim polarized light at tissues in the body, the light is scattered by the cells. And they found that healthy cells all scatter this light in a similar way, but cancerous cells do not. That's partly because fast-growing cancer cells are oddly shaped and irregularly spaced in comparison to healthy tissue. They can also have multiple nuclei and be denser than a healthy cell. In 2013, researchers studying colorectal cancer proposed that cancer cells can even change the direction of circular polarized light. And the degree to which they change this light's direction depends on how aggressive that cancer is. This impact on polarized light shows up very early on, prior to the onset of symptoms symptoms, or changes that are visible to the human eye. So a camera capable of viewing multiple types of polarized light would be an extremely useful tool for early cancer detection, especially during procedures that require a miniature camera, like a colonoscopy, for example. During this type of procedure, a doctor uses a small camera to spot tissues that look different from healthy tissue. This means the cancer has to be fairly advanced for our feeble eyesight to notice a difference. But the shrimp-inspired camera could improve 
improve cancer detection rates during these procedures. In fact, early prototypes used on mice have successfully revealed where healthy tissue ended and cancerous tissue began. If doctors can use these cameras to find tumors much earlier on, they can use less invasive treatments and decrease recovery times. As an added bonus, this camera is smaller, lighter, and less expensive than existing technologies, which means it could be really useful in resource-limited locations. So one day, these cameras could become a part of your doctor's toolkit, bringing the superpower of a mantis shrimp's eye to your very colon. Thank you for watching this episode of SciShow. If you liked learning about these quirky robots, I bet you will love our podcast, SciShow Tangents. In it, some of the fun and lovely people who are involved in SciShow and other things here at Complexly get together for a lightly competitive knowledge showcase. Every episode, I give them points for teaching me the most mind-blowing science facts relating to this week's theme. If you love science, laughing, and light-hearted, nerdy competitions, you should check it out. You can find SciShow Tangents anywhere you get your podcasts. Thank you